go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 49, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance, oh boy, uh, in Super Ravis? In Super Ravis? I have no idea. Um, but let's see, who did they ban? Bishop, Emma Frost, and uh, the Wolf. Okay. All right, let's see what they got planned for us. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, that's how y'all gonna play it. Everybody on my path is, uh... Wait, no, no, no. Okay, some of them are X magicka but... I've got, ugh. so I got uh, Zemo, he's a global defender, okay, well, I'm not too worried about Vision Arcus, hmm, yeah, not too worried about Vision Arcus, Claire can handle that, and, hmm, huh. The, they don't, except for this Silver Surfer, they don't really benefit from the node. So I can just bring in somebody that's good to fight them. Um, I always like Hulkling. Uh, let's see. But honestly, Hulkling, not so great. I see why they got rid of Bishop, but that's okay. That is ugly, though. Think about it. This node, that's a sneaky placement. I want you to see this here. So the node, where is it? Wait, did they change it? They They changed it? Hold on. They don't have that node. The reason that I was saying it's a sneaky node is because of the energy. You couldn't bring an energy um attacker here because they would just heal right back. But I don't see it. Oh boy. Interesting. Is knockdown energy what they replaced it with? Because if that's the case now, Claire can do that fight. Huh. They made it easier. Okay, well, that was a surprise. So I could take that with Claire. I could take it with uh, uh, Diablo too. All right, so Claire can handle, definitely bring in Claire. She could probably handle this fight too, to be honest. And as far as the others go, um, actually, she can handle that Silver Surfer. Wow. So Claire can handle three of the Zemo, Surfer, and Vision Arcus. And with the change, can handle that uh, Korg. 
And as far as um, Sauron goes, you know I'm bringing in Lady Deathstrike. Definitely bringing in Lady Deathstrike. So Lady Deathstrike, Claire, and I have a free slot. Let me see, what do you got going on here? Limber. Oh, great. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay, well, Claire and Lady Deathstrike for sure. And I'll probably end up bringing in um, Hulkling just because. Might be able to do some fights. Let's see up here. Hmm. Oh, she's on defense, isn't she? Darn it. Um, yeah, she's going to be on defense. Darn it. All right, well, I think that's what we'll do. Looks like Claire, looks like Lady Deathstrike, and the only one that I'm not sure on is Hulkling. I might see someone else that I want to use instead here. That um, weapon X would be annoying. Yep. I would have taken a bishop, perhaps. I see why they, they banned him. Let's see what we got here. Incinerate poison. Hmm. No, he's on... Defense again. Okay, yeah, so that's what it's looking like. I could probably take Korg or Weapon X. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so we're going in with El Diablo, my girl Claire, and Lady Deathstrike. Now, I did mention something um, at the beginning of the video about the node that Korg is on. And I think I figured out why that node is different. It's because we are a uh, lower tier. And I'm not used to being this low in tier. So I have not ever seen that node without the, um, uh, what was it? Uh, energy um, resistance or something like that. Um, high energy diet. That's it. When high energy diet first came in, we were at a tier where we were getting that. And so I have never seen that node without high energy diet. And what high energy diet does is if you go up against them with anyone that does energy damage, then they're gonna heal it back up. Claire, who is normally a great counter for Korg, wouldn't work against high energy diet. It's, it's sad. She can't work on that node. Uh, no one that does energy-based attacks can work on that node. So I was quite surprised to see high energy diet not there because it made it much easier. But it makes sense if, you know, the lower tiers don't have that high energy diet because it does make it um, much easier. So as you saw, Lady Deathstrike didn't have any problem with Sauron. I've taken... Um, fights with Lady Deathstrike against Sauron when he's on other nodes. Even if I get clipped by his special, it doesn't matter. She'll heal right back up. She is a beast. Okay? Now we've got uh, Baron Zemo, and I don't have a problem with Baron Zemo because he shrugs off the um, debuffs for the Ouchie Master. But fighting him, I don't like it. But I have learned how to fight him. I still don't like it. All right. 
One thing I want to do when I'm fighting him is I really want to bait out his special one whenever I can. The problem with him was always that his AI was really passive and you could spend half the fight just trying to get him to fire his special off. But if you notice, he's firing his special. So maybe, maybe Kabam uh, fixed it. Maybe uh, what they said was true and they actually did adjust the AI so they throw specials a little bit more and make it easier for us. Because that was crazy. You know, he was so passive that it was frustrating. But as you saw there, not a problem, okay? Now, that's my uh, section one path. Uh, next path, we're gonna go up against uh, that uh, Silver Surfer who, if you don't know how to evade his specials, he can be a pain to you. When he first came out, I had to learn how to evade his specials. It didn't take me that long though. Um, they weren't that hard. His special two, though, that one took a little bit of work. I would get clipped by his special two quite often. But the special one, real easy. You just delay it a little bit, boom. Okay, that's all. Now, of course, he is a global defender, and you definitely want to go up against him with an X magica attacker. As you see there, and you see, y'all saw that, right? I was hitting into his block to remove some of the indestructibles. Uh, I know I was avoiding doing that before. Oh, I hated that. I got rid of it, but the timer came around right when I did it, so he got another uh, indestructible. Um, but you can remove it, getting rid of the uh, indestructible by hitting into the block. However, parrying, which if you can do, and it's my style, removes more indestructibles. So you got both ways, no problem. When you're using an X Magica attacker, you gotta be an X Magica attacker. So Claire took him down without uh, any difficulty. And then it's almost like they lined up champs that Claire is just great with, you know? I would use Claire against Vision Arcus anyway, because she nullifies his, um, uh, I forget what that buff is called, but he can't get his um, power gain when she's doing that. And, he, and she can nullify his power gain. So he's got nothing. He's got absolutely nothing. Um, I've seen someone evade his special two once and I have evaded his special two once and it was by accident I just kept dashing back that's all I was doing I saw him do it and I was like dash 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 that's all I did and I accidentally got the timing right um, but I saw it in a tournament and we were like what because I think at that time it was the first time most of us had ever seen anyone dex that. We weren't even sure you could do it. All right, so now I get to fight Korg. I haven't been fighting a lot of minis because the way that they do it, you basically, everybody says who they can take, you know, and who they feel they can take comfortably. Uh, I'll put my name in, but I don't always get a sign. And then sometimes even when I do get a sign, somebody else, We'll be like, well, I got a better counter and it's real easy and I'm already boosted up. Boom, boom, boom. And then they do it. So I don't uh, get a chance to do it. Uh, so that, that's why you don't see me usually taking um, a lot of minis. Okay. Um, especially if I have a counter for a mini. So now I was gonna, I was like, you know, I can use Claire now on this no, but I brought Diablo because he's a great cord counter as well. Now on this node, you're gonna notice something. My strategy was to basically build up to a special three. Get his shield down, wreck him, okay? But look at my power, I kept getting drained. Do you know why? Look back at the node. I saw that happening and you'll see that I changed my play style a little bit. You notice that I got power drained again? 
All right, look at that. Power drain again. And you're going to notice I'm going to change it. Okay. So here we go. See if I build up. Okay, parry. Heavy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, didn't do it there. All right, so I got power drained again. All right. Keep going, keep going. All right. There we go. Come on. Come on. You see how I'm backing off and everything? All right. Now, you're going to see something here. Okay, look at this. See how I took that last hit? I didn't dex it. Look at this. You see how I'm just taking those blocked hits? And I shattered his shield. Now I can fire my special three. So check the node. Um, if I do a dex and I get that buff and then it expires, I get a power drain. So I don't want a dex. Okay. But now I've got that, um, the poisons on him. He going down. See, he knows he's going down. He's trying everything he can. But it don't matter. Yep, he got his shield back up, but it don't matter. He's still got the poisons on him. And he's down. Just like that. So I got to do exactly what I wanted to do with that Korg on that node. All right. So that's going to do it for this portion of the war. And we'll be back. And in a moment, you will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. And this one was sort of bitter because we could have won this one. In fact, uh, we were told that if we just got that serpent down, I believe it was a serpent on uh, Boss Island, uh, if we just got him down, we would win this war. I actually kept reviving and got him down. But we still lost. And the reason we still lost is because we had someone go AWOL. They, didn't, they, they just didn't show up to war. Now, from what I'm hearing, it's a person that doesn't normally do that. So we're actually kind of worried about, you know, what happened to him, you know. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, take a look here. As you can see, it was a very close war. Had he showed up and done his path, we would have won. Okay. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.